What is up guys, Delboy here. So, Zolane Tete defeats Mikhail Aloyan to advance to the World Boxing Super Series semi-final and also retains his WBO bantamweight title. First and foremost, the fight wasn't great, just like the fight before it, you know, Tabiti versus Pfeiffer. Tete won, and rightly so, however... To me, you know, he didn't look as good as I thought he would. And, you know, Mikhail Aloyan actually put up a good fight, you know. He was really awkward, he was hard to time. And he gave Zelane Tete all he could handle in some rounds. Mikhail Aloyan, for a guy who had four fights leading into this in the pros, you know, I felt he did a really good job. And, you know, given the disparity in height and reach and in terms of uh, experience you know I felt he fought as good as he could have and he did a very good job in the first round Zelane Tete got a knockdown you know it's kind of a flash knockdown it was what it was um, for the most part Tete you know he was having success when he was keeping it at range as we would imagine you know for a guy who was five foot nine as a bantamweight in comparison to Aloyan, who is like five foot four, five foot five, you know, Tete when he was at range was having all the success with his long punches. But when Aloyan got under the jab of Tete and got up close, he gave Tete issues. Aloyan's quick punches up close gave you know Tete all you know it it really gave him something to think about up close for the most part. Aloyan was getting the better of it. Also, Aloyan at times did a good job of countering on the, on the front foot. So Aloyan was the guy who was trying to close range, and at times he was countering well coming forward. That's something he didn't really carry out consistently, but at times he was doing it well. So, you know, Aloyan in this fight, he was having success. He did win, uh, win rounds, and he did a lot better than I expected him to. I still feel Tete won this fight. You know, there are large periods of time when he, he kind of kept it on the outside, landing with the jab, also landing um, that straight left hand as well when Aloyan was coming in. Tete won the fight, but he wasn't impressive whatsoever. Going into this tournament, Tete was one of the favourites. After this, you know, maybe people might be second-guessing that. I didn't think this was a good performance, I've got to be honest. I think this is as bad as I've seen Tete since he's been sort of on regular TV in the UK. And yeah, he looked beatable tonight. You know, up close, it looks like he's a little bit vulnerable. And that's not that's not really surprising. A big, sort of lanky, gangly guy against a shorter guy up close. You know, that's not surprising. But, you know, guys like Knight Inoue, Ryan Burnett, Emmanuel Rodriguez are going to be watching that fight and thinking to themselves, you know what, there's ways to beat Tete. And... Um, yeah, this is certainly the most beatable I've seen Tete look for for quite some time. Uh, credit to Aloyan for actually coming to fight. Credit to Aloyan for not lying down. You know, he like I say, he won rounds. He gave Tete issues, but just not enough really. If Aloyan had a bit of punching power, this fight would have been very interesting. But like I said in the preview, you know... Aloyan just didn't have any power going into this fight. If he if he did have power, looking back on that, this would have been a very different fight. Maybe even a different result. But yeah, Zalane Tete, he did what he had to do. He got the win and he moves to the semi-finals of the World Boxing Super Series. I believe he will be fighting the winner of Ryan Burnett and Nanito Donaire. So yeah. Tete gets the win, but does look vulnerable. We will see how this progresses, but um, like I say, I think the winner of, you know, I think Denair and Burnett would watch that and think to themselves, you know, that's winnable. It's going to be tough still, but it's winnable. You know, maybe that aura of invincibility from Tete has gone because, you know, a lot of people were, were raving about Tete, but now maybe... Maybe, you know, maybe fighters are actually going to be more confident going in there. We'll see. But, um, yeah, wasn't the best fight. The World Boxing Super Series card in Russia in general wasn't that great, I'll be honest. But, um, yeah, we'll see how it pans out. What do you guys think of the fight? Peace.